Hi, friends. Matt Noyce back with you again. This is our One Degree Outside Insights, where we dive into the meteorology, if you like that stuff, for the coming days. If you're just looking for a quick forecast next 24 hours, just head over to uh, our One Degree Outside Today video. In our app, you'll see that if you just scroll through the videos. And if you want to check it out, it's always on our homepage, OneDegreeOutside.com. But the meteorology is this. We talked yesterday about the jet stream and how it's kind of diverging across the nation's midsection, which favors thunderstorms there. That's where your storm center is at the surface as well. Notice that we've got a big ridge of high pressure, both at the jet stream level and at ground level. But the thing is, that high pressure center is down to our south. It's not like we're right under the center of it. This leaves us on the edge, which allows for jet stream disturbances and therefore allows for an increased chance of showers and storms. So you get some scattered storms during our Tuesday afternoon and evening as far south as northern and western Massachusetts by the evening hours. Um, and then you'll see an increased chance of showers and storms. Wednesday, I wouldn't call it increased. I think it's actually down a little bit, but there'll be a couple. Thursday is going to be the day that we find more in the way of uh, kind of scattered to widespread showers and thunder. The other thing is fog. Yeah, the fog banks are in place up and down the eastern seaboard. Makes sense. The ocean is cool. The air is warm and increasingly humid. The dew point temperature rising into the lower 60s Tuesday, middle 60s Wednesday and Thursday for an increased humid feeling. After today, Wednesday's high temperatures push 90 and break 90 in spots. We don't think a lot of spots see records because the records are actually pretty hot up into the 90s. But nonetheless, uh, if you're away from a south-facing coast, you're able to heat up. Uh, anywhere near a south-facing coast, again, it's all about that ocean with a southerly and southwesterly wind. Simply not going to be the case. Chance of severe uh, thunderstorms on Wednesday, mostly outside of New England. We may get an isolated general thunderstorm in a light blue area during the afternoon to early evening. But again, I think there'd be fewer of them Wednesday than there are on Tuesday. Uh, we get into Wednesday night. That's one of the nice things, actually, about not having a ton of humidity and this not being a July or August type of uh, heat that comes in is because the humidity isn't crazy, you actually still can cool down at night. So we drop down to about 60 or 65 in a whole bunch of spots. The only thing is you develop fog, especially near the coastline, each night into the morning hours for that matter as well. So we head into Thursday and notice that your temperatures are back in the 80s again. These Rut the Rutland temperature, by the way, looked a little bit cooler on the last map. That was on a hilltop, but the valley will be in the 80s for Wednesday. Thursday, we come near 80 from Rutland to Burlington. Uh, many of us climb into the 80s over the course of the day on Thursday. This is the day that a cold front arrives and showers and thunderstorms break out. Chance of severe weather, actually marginal. So that means there probably will be at least some severe thunderstorms in a lot of New England. Notice particularly everybody except northwestern New England. That, again, would be Thursday afternoon into the early evening hours. It's a cold front. By the time we get to Thursday night and Friday morning, we're talking about temperatures that still aren't that cool, but the humidity is dropping. Actually, Friday as a result has the potential to be a really nice day. Like you hold the warmth, but you've dropped the humidity and likely drop the chance of showers and thunder. We've been talking about how near the south coast, the front hangs on. So in southern New England, I wouldn't tell you it's a 0% chance of a shower or thunderstorm on Friday. But I can tell you it's greatly diminished anyway from where it was on Thursday. And right now, heading into the weekend, things actually look pretty good. I think you hold on to that more comfortable air, too. If you want to see more on that, of course, I would suggest going to our app. If you don't have it yet, it's out for Apple and Android. You just search noise, or you can search noises one degree outside or one degree outside. You'll find it. You'll be able to find the 14-day forecast for your location there. Hope you have a great day. I always appreciate you checking in. So does Danielle right here.